It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers on Monday Night Primetime. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the L.A. Chargers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got a coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the, thank you for the notice. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So the Charger offense making its way out and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Herbert on the first play wants to pass it. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's second and ten. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep to the 36-yard line, stop there. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Here's Herbert. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL. Ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback single season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They run with a fourth round pick, Roshan Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he, picking up that first down? Some have described him as a diamond in the rough with a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Fields now to throw. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Third down and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson, and he will have the Bears first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll come up second and seven. 
They go to Johnson again. And he's got some space here. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 42 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. They've got a new set of downs here. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now it's third and three. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Now Fields. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. Joey Bosa, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive, but bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. And they took full advantage of third down there and made a play. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me, I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost yeah. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board, but this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Herbert on first down now. Allen's got it complete, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Eckler's long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season, with 13 touchdowns on the ground. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. It's Eckler again. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That seemed to be linebacking 101 on how to diagnose and stop a run. And what we're doing nowadays is we're taking those former safeties, those bigger guys, and making them linebackers to utilize their speed. He just made an absolute beeline after he diagnosed that play and ended up making a nice tackle on it. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And it brings up third and five now. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Herbert. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. When you're running the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available, and incompletion as a result. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. Herbert back to the air. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. Here's second and 10. Herbert now. Now left, he's got it to Everett. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And the Bears in the nickel. No, wait, they're in the dime. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Now it's Herbert. Right side, he has Johnston. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run for it with Eckler. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Trey McKinney taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Near 
So out as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Bears. And people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter. And boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So a time, and he returns this to the 22. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert gonna lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 22. He'll hand off here to Eckler. Oh, leaves him behind on the spin. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 
Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done. When the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, 29 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point try now from Dicker. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive, four plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Chicago offense set to get started. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Try to get the offense going with Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Come on, dog. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Out of the gun, Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. No partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Fields. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Well, certainly some teams are not intimidated by down and distance on defense, are they? Third and very long? <laughs> Let's go get this guy again. Big-time pressure. Here comes the Bears punter now. 
As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get, you, hungrier. you get greedy in a good way. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He's going to let it go in zone for Allen. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Keenan Allen with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. field position he'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line another drive coming up for this Chicago offense defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On first and ten, here's Fields. And he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Second and short now following the fumble. Up the middle, Johnson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. 
The first down carry here for Johnson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Here's a second and five. Here's Fields. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Fields. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at earliest opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Here's Herbert now on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Palmer. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try the right side with Eckler. 
Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down and 13. Once more, here's Eckler. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. To return is Taylor. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Bears take over. So now Fields and the Bears down 24-17. A little over a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw, Fields. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. And he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. And this is one of those gotta-have-it drives. You can't start much better than that. Big yardage there. And just as important, he's able to get out of bounds. And now, that changes everything. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Now Fields. This will be caught just inside the 10. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Here's second and a yard. Here's Fields. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. All eyes on fields. And that will be incomplete as well. Palmer, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. They'll run for it. This is Foreman. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. Up the middle with Eckler. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.